you know, of course I'm going to comment on this. And the thing with Rodney King, you're right. And that's one thing about the police that a whole bunch of people are not fucking up and understanding this. Now, that's one thing that the police have in their car that a lot of people are not smart enough to understand. They do have. Look. It's called technology. See, the police have technology in the car to stop people like me and you from doing anything that can be conceived to be bad or illegal. Now, there's one thing that you would do if you had the power to do it. Now, you got a phone call from your daughter saying, man, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm having a problem with Jim, your daughter says. So you get on your technology right here. Type in Jim, Jim. Just like the police would do if they type in Rodney King's uh, registration and shit. Now, once you type in this information, every bit of information about the person pops up. Like you're saying, Rodney King did this, Rodney King did that, Rodney King did this. So, of course, these cops thought they had some serious badass on their hands. But, Rodney probably had just picked up a crack rock and drank about 340s. Oh, yeah. And a Mad Dog 2020. And uh, some Cisco. So, whatever. When the police already think they know who the fuck you are, they already know how to come at you. In other words, Father... If you got that record for breaking motherfuckers down, if you got that record for being a badass, they gonna do the same shit to you that they did to Rodney King. Wait a minute. They may even take it one step further. Now, what if they would have thought Rodney King had a gun in the car? We would have never seen that video of him getting his ass whooped. Because if he had did anything, that led them to believe in any way, shape, or form that he had a gun, you would have never heard the story. And, if you watched the video, he didn't just get beat up by white cops. There was black cops there. And don't ever think in one way, shape, or form that if three or four black cops were whooping on a white kid, that the white cop wouldn't say nothing. Now, in Sonoma County, the county in which I live in, the cops ain't got no time to fucking fight you and whoop on you. In Rona Park, California, the cops will shoot you. Yes, you look it up, Wikipedia, Rona Park, California, Police Department. You check and see how many people they've shot and killed in the last few uh, years. So, getting back to crooked cops. You have made me lose my chain of thought. So, in saying that, I'm just going to shut the fuck up and watch a couple more of your videos tonight. But, you're right. Paying off witnesses and doing fucked up shit. If these people are here to serve and protect us, why do they use all their shit against us? I have seen a man and a woman get in an argument in a fight and the man be sent to jail, even when it's the man's house. I have seen people do some fucked up shit and get away with it. But, since we're mentioning cops and I got five minutes left, I'm going to say something and normally I won't speak. Normally I won't speak like this. Now, the California way California way. The California Highway Patrol are full of shit. Um, last week, my brother-in-law was T-boned. You know what a T-bone is, right? Somebody hit you right smack dab in the side of your car right down the middle. My brother-in-law was T-boned in his Escalade. You know, don't get me wrong. The truck got shiny rims and shit. This looks like one of those hippity hot wagons, but my boy shit is tight. My brother's car is so tight that if they dropped it off a mountain, well, it's tight, but he didn't drop it off a mountain. So he was T-boned by a landscaping company. I got fast. I got five minutes left. Now, see, they hit him. 
the highway patrol officer gets there because there was a police chase first you know when when the police come people move to the sides so of the cars go by right the police had left the scene and my brother had proceeded to go through you know just just go through, just move forward um he was hit by a landscaping truck trailer full on wow he told me everything slowed down in slow motion. And he's looking at this man's eyes. And the man is like this. Now, T-Bone's my brother-in-law. Okay, Highway Patrol. Highway Patrol is taking his state. The Highway Patrol are on him. They're all over him like black in my hair. They're on him. They are all over my brother-in-law brother-in-law's got glass in his face blood all over the place and all my brother-in-law can say at the moment is that he didn't even stop he, he, he just came right through a couple of witnesses on the scene said well after the police drove by the landscaping truck went around three to four other cars and proceeded at as fast as speed as he could to get to where he's going you know these landscapers ain't you know shit they got shit to do and they hit my brother-in-law how many times in the history of your life you've ever seen an accident and people have been able to leave the scene of the crime? The first thing my brother-in-law said is like, hey, that's not the guy that was driving the truck. Why are they taking the trailer off the truck? You know, the landscaping company's owner came and took the trailer off the truck. An ambulance was called, not for the man that's bleeding, but the ambulance was called for one of the guys in the landscaping truck. The passenger of the landscape. So as my brother's talking to the police, the police are talking to him, telling him, don't worry about it, everything will be okay. And he says, you know, this guy over here is the one that's driving. And my, my brother-in-law says, no, he wasn't the driver. The short, fat guy was the driver. No, 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 no. Highway Patrol says, the guy says the tall guy was the driver. I looked at the guy who hit me, my brother says. The short, fat guy was the driver. Now, someone whispered into the tall guy's ear, passenger. All of a sudden, he's hurt, and then that's when they call an ambulance. The ambulance shows up. The passenger and the driver got in the ambulance. My brother-in-law's like, uh, are you going to take information from these people? Like, Don't worry about it. We got this. The landscaping company, they're not going anywhere. By the time that all was said and done, the landscaping company removed both the people that were in the car. The highway patrol got no information, no driver's license, no nothing from anyone other than my brother-in-law. 25 days have passed. This man has not been to work. His car is totally destroyed. Found out the very next morning, which I told him to go to the hospital that night, that he had a bruised rib a slight fracture in his shoulder. Got a letter the other day from the landscaping company's insurance, Progressive. They said he hit the landscaping truck. The same highway patrol officer that he had bitched to for three weeks. Hey man, where's the report? I need the report for my insurance. I need the report. That same highway patrol officer said Clearly at the point, it's not your fault. He T-bones you. Anybody can see it. But in that highway patrol officer's report, it said the accident was 50-50. Now, you know just as well as I do, how in the fuck I'm going to hit you with the side of my motherfucking car? How in the hell am I going to allow myself to be T-boned? And why in the hell should I pay for 50% of your damages and you pay for 50% of mine. First of all, their truck wasn't damaged. Their truck left the scene. Second of all, two of their employees left in an ambulance. Third of all, the highway patrol officer got no information from them. Is that a crooked cop story or a fucked up story? The perception of what the one man looked like clouded the judgment in the highway, highway patrol officer. He judged him. And for that judgment, I'm going to tube the highway patrol.